Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Long Ashes and Ring Gauge. This is a, another episode of Craft Network. It's been a really long time. Yes. It's like the fourth yeah, Scarfest. I think we're uh, once every six months now. <laughs> Scarfest kind of put us off a little bit. Yeah, life gets in the way. <laughs> but we're back, and we have two special treats for you today. Or tonight, depending on when you watch this or when you record this. Uh, the first one here is called the Syndicato, and it was a cigar that came out uh, IPCPR apparently uh, in the last couple years. It's a newer cigar. It's around eleven dollars for the stick. It's called the Corona Gordo. It's made up of mostly Nicaraguan tobaccos. It's a uh, Esteli double binder and a Jalapa Valley wrapper and then the filler is a mixture of that. I was uh, giving this as samples from the Syndicato group so thank you for that. They also have some other cigars too. Uh, Hex is one of the brands and I'm going to be clipping this and lighting it up and trying it out and see where, see where it goes from there. It's a box press. It's a 48 by 5.5 for the Vitola. Uh, I mean, it looks pretty good. It's lighter. It's a natural. Apparently, there's a Maduro one coming on here soon, too. It's got a nice little Cuban pigtail on the end of it, so. All in all, pretty decent. This cigar, uh, don't know much about it. I don't even know if it has a name. Um, you picked it up while you were on your trip. Um, it's come from Bermuda Cigar Company. Uh, a guy by the name of Grant Kennedy, a cigar roller, and this actually comes from Bermuda, and he actually rolled this one. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have any information on what it is, the filler, the binder, anything. Um, it's basically just Dominican. It's yeah, it's all Dominican. Know. Yeah. It's like um, a twenty-dollar cigar, though. Yeah. A and that, and that wasn't the Robusta. That was like a, a Churchill or something. But I mean, I assume that that's probably up there too. Right. And it, it's probably Bermuda prices. I mean, everything was freaking insane there when we were uh, when we went there on our cruise. But I happened to run into the guy going to try out some beers and saw him out there spraying some leaves. I'm like, oh, that's cool because I, I grew my own at, at one point in time, so I was familiar with that process. And, and started talking with them, and he said, yeah, I'm about to go in here and roll now. If you, if you want to come in and watch and talk to me for a while, I'm like, sure. Came in and took some pictures talk with him a little bit about cigar industry and his company. He gave me his business card and rolled a cigar for me and he said, go ahead and give it a review. He's like, if it's a bad review, let me know first. <laughs> <laughs> so, we'll see what so what it's like there. I mean, it, it, it looks pretty decent. I mean, he's still uh, getting going with rolling and everything, it seems like, but I don't know, we'll find out, I guess. Yeah. So we're going to clip these and light them up and when we come back, We'll give you our input so far. Hey, we're back. Um, we're smoking the, what's that called? The Syndicato. Syndicato and the cigar from Bermuda Cigar Company. Uh, mine, I uh, have to say, it's got a sweet flavor to it. It's not an infused flavor. It's more from the leaf, and it's got a really good flavor to it. Um, the construction, obviously, it was a fresh roll, so yeah. I, can, I can understand that. It's, it's a little veiny, but to be honest with you, it's not splitting. Not, you know, It's got a really good burn. The draw is okay. I mean, if the draw was a little better, it would be great, but I haven't had any draw problems. Um, the burn's really even. Um, like I said, it's got, so far, it's a, I wouldn't say it's overly powering sweet. It's just got a sweet texture to it. Not like It's not like a smoky sweet, but it's... Like what you get off of a flavored infused cigar, but it's not overpowering. Yeah, I, I tried a couple hits of it, and like yeah. I licked my lips after the fact, and I actually tasted some sweetness on my lips, almost like it would have been in a few cigar. Mm -hmm. But I like sat in front of the guy and watched him roll the thing. Yeah. I didn't really see anything infused, like right. with the leaves or anything like that. So, right. I mean, I, I don't think it's an infused cigar. Right. It's 
I mean, it's just sweet and cream. Yeah. It's a natural sweetness there. Right. And I thought it had a little bit more bite with the Habana, but it's it's still smooth. I mean, it's really good. Yeah, the, the Syndicata is doing pretty good so far. Uh, the draw is a little bit different than what Ring Gage is getting on his. Uh, on mine, for the Syndicata, it's a really effortless draw. Lots of smoke coming out, really easy to tug on. Uh, to uh, I'm getting a cream as well, but mine's more of like a toasty cream. Uh, I mean, this would probably be the perfect breakfast cigar, or something in the morning with your coffee some nice toast and cream with it i will note that the cigar itself is cracking i mean it could, it could be my humidor but i mean pretty much everything in my humidor is like 70 percent and i don't really get this problem with other cigars so i don't know uh punch has the other one of these cigars and he's going to do a solo review on it so we thought we'd mix it up and get two completely unbiased uh reviews on it so we'll see what happens with his but I mean, it is cracking there. I, I have to fault it a little bit on that one, but I mean, otherwise, it's it's smoking good still, and it tastes good. So, really enjoying it. And I tried a couple of hits off of the Bermuda cigar, and uh, it really surprised me. Yeah. When I saw the business card, and it said, and I have to be honest, when I saw the business card, and it said weddings and private parties and stuff like that usually when i think of cigars like that i, I think they might be kind of like cheaper ones just to give out for like you know special events, events or right. whatever but it's, it's a decent smoke yeah it is i mean it's the draw is getting a little better now it's opened up but it, i didn't have any cut problems i mean uh like i said it's still burning good I'm starting to get a little better draw like i said um the sweetness is still there so i have to see if it's consistent all the way through all right when we come back We'll probably finish it out, and then I'll tell a little bit more information as, as much as I can about the two groups and where you might be able to find some more information about how to get these cigars. So, be back. What's up? We're back, and we're just finishing it out here. Still smoking the Syndicato and the Bermuda Cigar Company cigar. I'm not mm -hmm. sure if it actually has a name or not on it, but uh, this is the business card that we got for the Bermuda Cigar. And it has a BermudaCigar.com website, but I went there and it was kind of like one of those park website things. So it's down right now, if it ever was up. But uh, BermudaJamFactory.com is uh, Grant Kennedy. He owns that company as well. He actually makes like spicy jams or whatever, and that's what he started out with. And then the same company had a uh, distributor of tobacco as well, and that's how he started to get into that. So. You can, you can find some information out there. Uh, Syndicato Cigars. Uh, there is a SyndicatoCigars.com. There's also a Facebook page you can take a, a look at. You can go to uh, Corona Cigar Company online. They were selling them. And obviously you can probably find them in some local brick and mortars and, and online as well. But overall, the Syndicato, uh, same flavor profile all the way through. Even though it had the crack in the cigar, it kind of fixed itself. Uh, still good burn, good draw, and toast and cream all the way through. Not super complex, but uh, definitely a good breakfast smoke. I'm not sure if I pay $11 for it myself. I'm thinking more like five or six bucks, but still great smoking experience. Bermuda cigar, um, same flavor profile all the way through. Nice cream. Uh, the draw did increase to get better. Um, no construction issues, really good cigar. Um, I think he said retail were like twenty dollars, but that's twenty dollars in Bermuda. Yeah. That was in Bermuda. I don't even know if you can get these in the states yet. Um, but this was a fresh roll, uh, really good cigar, really good burn. Never had to relight it. Um, it's a really good cigar. It's probably a good angle to sell it too. Is sell it as a something. In Bermuda, while people are on vacation mm -hmm. and stuff, so you can you can up upsell it a little bit more than you could in the states. Well, and like his card says, you know, weddings, private parties, and celebrations. I don't even know if he would do brick and mortar at this point because he said it's yeah. just one guy doing it. Yeah, he's just doing it in his kitchen. Really, he's rolling the stuff. And right. That's where he says he's rolling. It. I mean, he's. I asked him because you know he was spraying down the leaves and rolling it right there. I'm like. So you got you have like a few rollers or something, and he started laughing. He's like, "Nope, it's just me." 
So he's just starting out, but like Green Gate said, it's a pretty decent smoke. Yeah. I'm hoping if it ever gets in the States, the price will come down. I'm thinking maybe $10, but I don't know if I'd pay that. But it's a decent size stick. Um, like I said, a little, little veiny, but I think he said he wasn't the best roller, but it was still good construction. It didn't fall apart. Um, I don't think it affected the cigar at all. So it was just a little bit rough looking, but I don't think that made a difference. Uh, cigar still smoked well. Still the same flavor profile all the way through. Oh, all by the way, smoke. he has two types. That was the Habano, and then they, he also had a Connecticut version, which was the one that I saw in the store for $20, but I assume that the price point is probably about the same one. On this one's cigar, sweet. The Connecticut's probably even sweeter, I would imagine. Yeah. Yeah, so. It was a lighter shade. Right. There you have it. Sinicato Cigars and uh, Bermuda Cigar Company, two very unique cigar smoking experiences and probably a little bit rarer to find than, than most of your uh, cigars you find in the brick and mortar, but they're out there. Hit the websites, check them out online, and that's about it. That's it. Until next time, this is Long Ashes and Ring Gauge. Stay smoky. See you.